<laughs> I see you're recording because I can tell my <laughs> Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try pull-offs, okay? So we already tried the hammer-ons. Now this is uh, basically, it's backwards, okay? Um, I'm going to stay in the same spot. So fifth, uh, I'm on the third string. I'm going to go to the eighth fret. I'm going to start with my pinky this time. And I have to have the finger that's next to it, that I'm pulling off to, has to be down ahead of time. So, I'm going to start with the pinky. This guy's got to be down. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of like, you know how a dog will do this after his little bit of business and cover it over? <laughs> That's what I think of. You're pushing into the wood and pulling like on an angle. It's like you're plucking it with that finger. up my third finger. This is a hard one. That's two to four. I mean, uh, sorry, four to two, backwards. So four, three, four, two, four, one. And then I put down the three fingers and then I go three, two, three, one, two, one. So this is much harder than the hammer-on exercise. So I think about just pushing into the wood and going on an angle. The same thing that you did with the hammers that you did grids with, you can do you can go all the way down the strings, you can go up a half step and then back down, and you can do like grids of the whole guitar. And uh, but do them slowly. Uh, you have to it's better to get a good sound and be able to just do them slowly and get them correct. you do them too fast you just get sloppy and nobody needs that so any questions comments below uh, please subscribe and play more guitar